I'm making your favorite. Lentils. Who wants lentils? How about we try hamburgers? Ooh, lentil burgers? Well, I have a better idea. All right, we just got here at Goldburger and I'm really excited to try it, but it can't be better than McDonald's, right? What? Yeah, I mean, those were the best burgers I've ever had. Oh my God. Goldburger, we've been here since May of 2019. Opened during the pandemic, so it was a little rough, but we're happy to be here and happy for everyone to try our food. Here you guys go. Have a great day. Look how good this looks. Oh! Hey, what's up? Keep our safe distance. How you guys doing? Jennifer, Merrick. Meet Rick Locks. Foodie, restaurant reviewer, cool dude, and hungry. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm here with Rick Locks, and he claims that I like it more than McDonald's, but I'm skeptical. This is one of my top three burger spots in Los Angeles, so if you don't like it better than McDonald's, there might be some problems. Some of you may have seen my video where I tried McDonald's for the first time, and I said that those are the best burgers ever. Yep, yeah, it's really good. What? Oh. However, not all the feedback was positive. Rick Locke said that I was crazy. He's crazy. And my friend Jennifer was disappointed. I don't approve. Help me order here, what should I get? Their gold burger is their signature menu item. I'm a diehard pastrami guy, and their LA special comes with pastrami on top as well, so you might have to go with both. All right, I'll go with the gold burger because that is their specialty and it is highlighted in yellow on the menu, so what are you gonna get? I, I'll get the same thing. Jennifer's mom. How about you? Um, I'm not exactly sure. I have to think about it because I'm vegetarian, so I'm thinking fries, maybe curly fries? Dad, are you gonna get the gold burger? Yes? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm trying one of the fries. Two of them. Mmm. I completely take back what I said about the in and out fries being decent. Crunchy and fried. I love that. Dad, do you like them? Yes? Okay. Nice. Ooh, look at this. Wow. This looks amazing. Moment of the truth. Wow. That is one of the most flavorful burgers I've ever had. What do you think? Wow, that is juicy. That's like a lot of sauce. Yeah, it's good though. It's like really, really good. If I could, I would eat all of this, but there's still more to try. Hey, Merrick, can I try it? Yeah, you can You can try it. Rick, this is insane. Okay, our first spot is a hit. Okay, so tell me, what do you think makes a good hamburger? There's so many factors. I think first and foremost is the meat. Some people like a really thick burger, some like a smash burger. Of course, a good dressing, whether you like an aioli like we have here, a special sauce like we have at In-N-Out. Bread definitely matters. A nice squishy bun, a more brioche bun. So many different types of burgers. Some people like one, some people don't like the other, but it's all preference. And it's at the end of the day. I am going to rate this burger nine woes out of 10, so. Like that. That burger was great, and I'm really excited to try the next one. The french fries are pretty amazing. They're really curly fries. I got the curly fries because I like them better than regular fries. They were not too crispy, not too soft. I love them. Dad, a camera. What do you think of it? Okay. All right, Rick, so where are we now? What is this place? We are now at Burgers Never Say Die, which is my number one burger in LA. Get ready for the goodness. Wow. Okay, so what should I order here? No need to look over a long menu. There's only one burger available here, and that's what you're gonna get. Okay, so tell us about the place. So the owner of Burgers Never Say Die started serving burgers out of his house. Word started to spread and it got so popular that he needed to open up his own restaurant in order to fulfill demand. So what started as just a little pop-up barbecue in his backyard is now one of the most popular burger spots in all of Los Angeles. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Ta-da! Whoa, it's pretty interesting looking. I have never seen a burger like this. It's like crispy, kind of flaky on the outside. Whoa, and the cheese is all melted. I mean, it smells very good and it looks very good. I hope it tastes the same. Mm. It's definitely not as juicy as the last one, but it tastes very, very good. I love like the flaky meat. It's really good. Better than McDonald's? Oh yeah, not even close. I just want to alive. Better than the last one. The last one was too wet. I like this one's like nice and neat. Okay, Rick, this is amazing. Let's do it, first bite. Yeah. 
Yeah. Dad, do you want to stop filming and eat your burger? Yes? Okay. Nice. This makes me remember the days of eating a McDonald's McDouble as a kid, but the better version. So this is why it's my number one burger in LA. I mean, it's a good burger, but I wouldn't say it's like better than the last one that we had because the last one that we had was super flavorful and juicy. I like this one better. It's less messy and it's crispy. I like crispy things. And the fries are better. They're so good. They're so salty. Wow, yeah, this is salty. <laughs> yeah. Two down, one more to go. So what are we going to try next, Rick? Next stop, we're going to Hollywood and we're trying a French bistro that started serving burgers during the pandemic. What is this place? And most importantly, how do you pronounce the name? So I hope I'm saying it correct. Hapi, they're some of the best burgers in all of LA. Let's give them a try. I'm excited. Yeah. What did we get? Well, I've heard they have a very good chicken sandwich here, but today's not the day for chicken sandwiches. We are here for burgers. We are gonna go with the double cheeseburger. And as it says on there, that's where you go for the win. We call it the for the win. That's the concept. Grass-fed beef, smash burgers, Martin's uh, potato rolls, uh, really nice. Uh, our special sauce is really nice. This is my first try, so I'm super oh. excited. Cool. I cannot wait. <laughs> oh, I love burgers. All right, all right. Back here. Back here, guys. We're big on wine too, so. Uh, <laughs> While we wait for this next burger to be ready, we're gonna do a little rapid fire food questions. Favorite pizzas? Hawaiian with pineapple. Hawaiian with pineapple, but, but not pork. Stuffed crust veggie. I'll go Hawaiian too. I think just the cheese and pepperoni, simple. That's probably my favorite. Favorite type of dessert? Cheesecake with raspberries. Ah, it's so hard. I love dessert. Crepes. Chocolate ice cream. I mean, ice cream is great, but the first thing that comes to mind is brownies. I love brownies a lot. I think I'm an ice cream guy as well. And my favorite kind of ice cream is coffee flavored ice cream. Oh. <laughs> All right, last one. Favorite type of sandwich? BLT. I like tuna. <laughs> oh yeah, I like tuna melt with cheese. I'm gonna have to go with pastrami sandwiches. You consider hot dogs a sandwich? Absolutely not. Not a sandwich. What? How about tacos? <laughs> not a sandwich, no, no, no. Okay, okay, just check it. <laughs> I have the burger from Papi, I think that's how you say it, and let's do a bit of an unveiling. So, I'm reaching in. Oh, it's so warm. Okay. Whoa. That looks like a very messy burger, but wow, that looks tasty. How do I eat this? It's so messy. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my favorite. Oh wow. It's a lot more similar to gold burgers than burgers never say die. I mean, there's meat, there's a bit of uh, sad lettuce, there's cheese and a bit of onion, and there's a very good sauce. I don't think I have to say that there's cheese in there, it's all over the paper. It's very good, it tastes unhealthy, which is a good thing. How are the fries, mom? They're soft. I really like them. Dad, would you like to eat yours now? Go for it. All right, the day is coming to a close and I think that we should do a socially distanced wrap up. Let's rate our burgers. My, I think, least favorite out of all three of them, and it was still very good, was the burgers never say die because I don't have that same nostalgic sense of that burger as other people do. And I think my second favorite was the one that we just had. It was pretty juicy and it was good, but my favorite was the gold burger. And I think my opinion might be skewed a little because I was the most hungry when I tried it, but it was really, really good. My favorite though, it was definitely this last one. It was so juicy and it had a ton of flavoring, so I like that. The second one, it was like too messy and like it didn't look good. I liked the Burgers Never Dies. I think was the name of the place. They had the best fries, they were salty. So my favorites were Papil and then Goldberg and then last was Burgers Never Say Die, but every single one of them was marvelous. Last, Papi, still delicious though. Second best would be Goldberger and number one, Burgers never say die. Rick, thank you so much for bringing me into your world. It was very delicious, and I really hope we get to do this again soon. My pleasure. All right, now, let's get another burger. Let's go. <laughs> See ya.